Bury the Fish with Fingers by Sue Hendra. Sea slug like to lie on the ocean floor and watch the fish swim by. He did this every day. He saw fat ones, thin ones, some as big as cars, some as small as buttons. Toothy ones, big nosed ones, googly eyed ones, spotty ones, stripy ones, you name it, he'd seen it. In fact, he thought he had seen it all. Until he caught sight of Barry, that is. How do you do? asked Barry, proudly waving his fingers. Whoa, a fish with fingers, exclaimed Sea Slug. These new fingers are the answer to every fish's problem, said Barry. What's your problem? Barry asked a moody looking fish. There was a big silence. I'm bored, said the fish. We're all bored, said the others. Well, prepare to be unbored, said Barry. Fingers mean finger puppets. With fingers, I can knit a scarf. Count to ten. Type a letter. Make a paper chain. Finger paint. Play the piano. Have a big morning stretch. Fingers are really good for tickling. I'm going to tickle you. The fish could see why Barry loved his fingers. They could do so many things. Suddenly, the sea went dark and the water shook. It was at that moment that one of Barry's fingers did something truly amazing. It pointed. Look out! Thanks to Barry's fast-acting finger, not a single fish got squished by the massive heavy box that fell into the sea. The fish all made banners. Fingers are fun. Fingers for fish. Fish need fingers. Barry, Barry's fingers saved my life. Hey, asked the little fish. Hey, Barry, where can we get some of those fingers? Ah, the box was Pirate Jack's tasty fish sticks. Now I really have seen it all, said Sea Slug.